hello guys um, welcome to my second tutorial on YouTube sorry for the delay I hope you guys are doing well uh, during these hard times uh, hopefully I should be uploading them more often now uh, this was meant to be uploaded last weekend uh, with a Eastern uh, theme so I was messing around with particles and I was uh, I thought to myself why not use uh, the metaballs and see what happens so we're gonna do something really simple and show you guys a couple of examples or at least one more example of something that I did just so you guys can get an idea of the possibilities that you guys could do all right so we're gonna create an egg from a cube by adding a uh, subdivision surface modifier to it we're gonna change it to two we're gonna press tab and pick uh, the top face we're gonna get a little bit closer and then we're gonna screw it and we're gonna decrease the size of that top face and we're gonna move it up a little bit by pressing G and Z by the way guys just to add um, and a lot of the shortcuts um, for future videos I probably I'm probably gonna be showing them on the screen but I won't be saying them as much uh, the usually the videos that I create or that I have created in the past they weren't for beginners but if that's something that the community asks for then that's something that we could do definitely so we're gonna create an, an egg here and pick the bottom face we're gonna increase the size just a little bit okay that seems kind of good let's move this up a little bit G Z all right we're gonna click apply actually press tab then actually we're gonna increase the size the subdivision and then we're gonna click apply right click on the egg and press uh, shade to smooth and nice we have a nice egg all right so we're gonna leave it right there uh, we're gonna create our particles now so uh, shift a and do a plane move the plane uh, out of the way it doesn't really matter move it under your X axis and then up on the C axis by pressing G and then Z or Z all right we're gonna decrease the size just a little bit and then we're gonna go into particles press the plus leave it as a thousand when we're gonna increase the life to 500 we're gonna increase the duration of the particles um, how long they're being admitted from 200 to 100 all right then uh, we're gonna go into the physics and we're gonna change the physics type to voids all right we're gonna give our particles some brain we're gonna take these two selected um, attributes and we're gonna press the minus and we're gonna add some new ones so we're gonna set a goal and let me just drink a little bit and then we're gonna do an average speed all right uh, we're gonna come back to this so we can show so I can show you what is happening so as of now, our particles don't have nowhere to go. We're gonna set the goal to be our egg. I'm just gonna rename our cube to egg and our plane to particles. All right. Now, once we press play, as you can see, the particles go towards the center of the egg or towards the origin 
of the egg. I'm sure we could see it. Yes, exactly. So the contour is the origin. And we're gonna do what we're gonna do is the, we're gonna move the origin towards the the more of the center. So we're gonna click on the object and we're gonna set origin to origin to geometry. That's gonna move it a bit higher. Um, you can move it around. And um, we have already our X selected, and we're gonna click on enable physics and we're going to click on that collision for the particles and as you can see the particles are interacting and colliding with the egg all right that's great next we're gonna do is press shift a and we're gonna do a meta ball we're gonna move this meta ball out of the way we're pressing g it doesn't really matter where you put it by having it pr um, selected we're gonna go into its attributes and we're gonna go for screen resolution we're just gonna do a 0.3 as of now and we're gonna change the render to a 0 0.3 all right and then we're gonna change the uh, influence to 1 all right, we're gonna click on our particle plane and then we're gonna go into the particle setting. We're gonna go down and we can close this for now. We can close the, hide the, the physics for now and we're gonna click on the render in the viewport. For the render, uh, we're gonna click on object and then for object, we're gonna pick our meta ball. Awesome. Um, now, if you hit play, it's hard for you to see what's happening, but uh, pretty much when a meta ball is not next to anything else and is very small, they lose resolution. That comes in really handy so your system doesn't crash, pretty much. But we already set the settings for the meta ball. And what's happening there is that we're going to increase the size of the meta ball right here. Let's do a 0 0.25. All right, so that's a lot. And then we're going to do here a 0 0.6. 0 0.6. All right, let's take that back and let's play. All right, it is still rough depending on your system. Again, you can increase the preview to higher. We're gonna increase it just a tiny bit. And all right. I'm gonna say, stick it to two and see how that looks. Okay, as long as we can get kind of an idea of what's happening. Um, I'm going to increase that a little bit more just to show you guys this frame. All right, as you can see, but just for keeping just to keep everything smooth, we're going to change it to two. All right. So we have our meta balls that are hitting the sphere. All right. If you truly want to see what is happening, uh, while you're still editing, editing your particles, make sure you select your particle uh, plane and then change the preview from render to axis. I recommend axis in this case because the particles tell you where are they looking at um, the red axis of those particles or the x axis indicates where are the particles looking at so as you can see they are aiming with the x axis all right that is pretty cool we're going to increase our particle amount again be careful with your system 
you might have to it might crash if you have way way too many particles but in this case it's working fine all right they're jumping a bit too high let's see if we can fix that or how would that look like at the end but okay next we're gonna da -da -da. Okay, we're gonna increase, um, in order to have our metables uh, seem like little drops of water or chocolate and increase their sizes, because as you saw, we had a big blob. We're gonna separate them a little bit more and have them wander. So now they should, exactly, now they should separate a little bit more and kind of create like this type of splash, which is pretty cool. And uh, all right, after we have our particles uh, interacting in a way that we like, we're gonna go up and we are gonna cache it. So we're gonna say bake all dynamics and it's pretty fast. Why do we do this? Because when rendering, uh, the particles tend to actually shift the the particles get um, the computer rethinks the software rethinks the particles position this way it bakes the actual position of each particle and then we could play back and forth smoothly that comes really handy when adding back our metable as a display as you can see that is pretty cool uh, it's kind of rough now, but we're going to increase the resolution. Uh, one thing to note, you saw me clicking on these particles and it's taking me to the metable section as one. Yes, the way the Blender thinks of metables is no matter how many you have, it thinks of them as one. So if I click away and I click on this one, it's the same thing as me clicking and the particle as a whole one. If I change the settings on this one, it changed the settings on the particles and everything. Not because they are attached. Well, yes, because they are, um, uh, they're being driven by the particles and they're using the same settings, but it's the same thing anyways. So, okay, let's increase the resolution just a little bit. All right, that is pretty cool. And as we can see, all right, we're gonna decrease our particle size. I think that they are too big. Um, so we're gonna de decrease the size by clicking on our particles. And then we're gonna go into scale and we're gonna decrease it. There we go. All right. Let's make this 400 or four. That is not bad. We can probably decrease the size just a tiny bit more. Okay. So I think that's gonna look pretty cool. As of now, we can always test it by going to making sure you can render it right now but i'm just gonna decrease just so that so it doesn't take forever and we're gonna press f12 okay yeah that's pretty cool the particles could be a little bit smaller so we're gonna actually i'm gonna go back and actually decrease the size Okay, actually, let's just leave the random towards closer to half and 
our particles as uh, 100. We're going to press F12 again. That's not bad. Okay. All right. Another way to get those uh, tiny particles is by going to our metable settings and decreasing this or increasing it to 1.5. Let's see. Okay, much, much better. All right, we're just gonna give it some some color to the egg. We're gonna go into our shading tab. We already have our node, our principal shader, but if you don't have it, you can always get it by clicking add and then shader, principal shader, or principal BSDF. Okay. We're going to go into add and then we're going to click on our with texture. And then we're going to do convert and we're going to do ramp. All right, let's increase the size. All right. I'm gonna attach it to this. I'm gonna attach it to that. We already have something cool. We're gonna do constant. And we're gonna choose some nice mild colors. Let's just do light blue. And yellow. And okay, baby blue and yellow. All right. If you have the node wrangler on, click Control T. Or you can find these nodes by clicking the add and looking them up up here. But we're not gonna do that right now. Okay. So we're just gonna change the orientation. So I believe I had this one at 45 and this one at 60 or was it the opposite? Okay, and this one 60, yeah, or 50. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. We're going to do a distortion. Okay. And then we're going to increase the size. And let's do saw and ring. Did I do ring? No. Okay. Let's do the details. Have them at zero. Actually, increase them a little bit. Let's decrease the details as zero. There we go. So that's really cool. Let's click on our particles or our metable and add a new material. We're going to change the color to an orange. We're going to make it dark. For the chocolate, we're going to increase the decrease the, the roughness quite a bit. Could be a little bit lighter. All right, we're gonna increase the roughness here too. All right, that's really cool. We're gonna go back to to our layout, and we're gonna press F12. See where everything's at. Okay, that is really cool. Remember, guys, that now you guys can see what is happening by just scrolling. That is really cool. All right, let's see if we can find a good frame. OK, 
and I like that they are like coating the outside. be a good frame let's actually press uh, zero to go into the camera click on the edge of the camera or on the icon and let's do view lack um, the camera view so then we can move it around all right See what we can get. That's not bad. I wish the particles were more, um, more of them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna increase the amount of particles real quick. You have to go into the particle settings and then delete baked. And then we're gonna do actually 4,000 particles. And we're gonna bake that now. It takes around a minute, but you can use, um, the other things that you could use to do some cool effects like uh, real flow is by taking uh, an empty and adding um, the uh, it's not even letting me click uh, the uh, fills force uh, force fills and move them around. We're going to show that a little bit in a second. I'm not going to finalize finalize this project as a finish to render. This is just to show some cool tips of what you could do. All right, we're going to press render right here. Awesome. I like them much better. And we're just going to add another light real quick. SA. And we're just going to move it back here. We're going to increase the the amount to 300 I'm gonna make it slightly blue see how that looks that's not bad that's not bad that's really cool uh, alright guys um, I'm just gonna show you the another test that I was doing I believe it's this one. Oh, this was the another one. But that's not quite it. Is this one? So this is really cool. So these are the type of things that you could do by using effectors. Hopefully it renders. I don't have it set up to at a good angle now. I don't think so. But the yeah, I could do click on the camera and then we're gonna do exactly. so control alt zero to have the camera come to your view we're gonna log it again see if we can render that yeah so the resolution is really low for the render That is really cool. You could do some really, really cool effects by doing this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. 
uh let me know what you guys think uh and we should do something cool and more experimental um i hope you guys keep yourself safe and don't go out and um see you on the next one thanks bye